Hi guys, welcome to Stuart Way. I'm Ryan. Today we're in Winchester, the ancient capital of England before London. Join me today as we explore Winchester and its many sights and sounds. Winchester is a beautiful city located in the southeast of England. It makes for a perfect day trip and it's located just one hour by train from London Waterloo. We start off our walk today by the Winchester Guildhall, which is an events venue. It's a really grand building and also next to it you'll find the King Alfred the Great statue. As you go west down the high street, you will come across the Buttercross Monument, which is a 15th century monument, which is really great to look at. In the high street, you will come across many bars, pubs, restaurants that will suit any budget. If you carry on walking further away from the high street, you will come across the Westgate Museum. We opted for the Explorer ticket, which gives you entry to the Great Hall and City Museum as well for £12.50, which is really great value. Tickets are valid for one year from purchase. This museum is a really great place to see with some fantastic information and historical outfits as well, which you can try on, which is really great fun. Also, while you're here, do make sure you go to the top of the stairs to get a rooftop view of the surrounding area. Upon leaving Westgate, we headed round the corner a couple of minutes to the Great Hall and the Round Table. The Great Hall features a medieval round table romantically linked to King Arthur. The Great Hall was a really great place to see and it was definitely one of my highlights when visiting Winchester. It was also great to see people wearing period costume in this venue as well. The Great Hall also contains a real unique gallery with various pictures from these times showing. Next to it you'll find the gift shop where you'll find various historical souvenir goodies you can buy. After visiting the gift shop, we headed round to the Garden of Queen Eleanor, which is out the back of the Great Hall. It's a really great little garden and lovely place to see here as well. Once you are done in the Great Hall, walk a couple of minutes down the road till you get to Queen's Court, which leads to Peninsula Square. In this square, you will find a couple of military museums and really beautifully maintained gardens. You'll also find some luxury apartments, which definitely look very nice to live in. This area was also once used as a former army barracks as well.
Once we had finished looking around Peninsula Square, we then headed back on ourselves and took a right turn and headed past the City Museum. As we were really short of time, we didn't manage to see inside. Next to the museum, if you carry on walking through the gardens, next to it, you will find the Winchester Cathedral, which is a really beautiful building. The entrance fee is £13.50. Do be aware, opening times on a Sunday are only between 12 and 3 p.m. After walking back down the high street and having a quick look around the Abbey Gardens, we then went to the Winchester City Mill. Entrance is free to National Trust members and non-members too. The place has over 1,000 years of history and it's one of the oldest water mills in the UK. While you are here, do enjoy a lovely seat on the terrace area of this place and have a bite to eat while watching the world go by next to the River Itchen. When you are done having a bite to eat and a lovely drink, then make your way through the small but beautiful gardens that accompany the terrace area that make for some really great photos and videos too. The end of the gardens also make for some really great pictures of the river as well. When you have finished looking around the city mill, cross the road and head straight down for a scenic walk along the River Itchen. This is one of the most prettiest river walks I have ever done in the UK. The water is really clear and there's some really great plants and animals to capture some great shots of too. After passing these dreamy riverside homes, carry on walking down the footpath and take a right and head to Wolvesey Castle, also known as Old Bishop's Palace. It's an English heritage site that is free to enter. Some of our opening hours for the castle are 10 till 5 p.m. These castle ruins are really great to see and this place continues with the historical theme of the area. Once you leave the castle, do have a look at the lovely Wolvesey building, which is the Bishop of Winchester's home. Carry on further down this road and you will discover Jane Austen's house, which was the last place she lived in. After seeing Jane Austen's house, carry on a couple of minutes down the road and then you will reach Kingsgate, which has a bookshop. You will then go through Winchester Cathedral gates, which lead to a historic Tudor building, which is under renovation at the moment. There are some really great buildings in this area and this path leads back to the cathedral.
Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Winchester as much as I did. It was a really great place to see. I hope you enjoyed all the things we did do today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.